Pam Yankee, Q106 Prime Director. I think we have our audio straightened out. We're taking your calls at 270-9933. Call in now for a question for Pam. We're talking about some good news for farmers for a change. Yeah, it started with the weather, Mark. We've got better than 90% of our corn and soybeans in the ground. That's better than three weeks ahead of where we were at this stage last year. So quite an improvement. That makes us feel better. We're six days ahead of our five-year average. Uh, you mentioned earlier that uh, we're seeing some of our retailers like Quick Trip seeing very robust dairy sales. I think dairy, our dairy segment was a little concerned when people started seeing restaurants and bars reopening that we would see less consumption at the grocery store, fewer people that were still cooking at home, but we have not seen that yet. In fact, there's a lot of people that say we have learned some new habits when it comes to our, our dining experience. And even though we may be still doing takeout and maybe investigating a patio setting or something like that, there's still a lot of cooking that's going on at home. And right here in Wisconsin, there's still a lot of effort underway by uh, individual groups like FFA chapters, uh, civic groups to keep circulating dairy through their community. Uh, there's also a lot of people that are ready to reach in their pocket and buy it themselves. So well, that's nice to see. Yeah, that is good news. Let's talk a little bit about the Wisconsin Farm Support Program program, Pam, and farmers really need to apply for that ASAP, don't they? Yeah, absolutely, Suze. Uh, we've got only until 1159 on June 29th, so just a two-week window of opportunity for the more than 25,000 farms that we've got in the state of Wisconsin. Remember, this is all farms. If you had $35,000 of gross income on your 2019 Schedule F taxes or your business taxes, then you qualify. Minimum payment will be $1,000. Maximum will be $3,500, so not a lot of Money, but still helping to get some of the bills paid. Revenue.wi.gov is the website. It's all online application. Uh, Ann DeGarmo from Department of Revenue told me it's taken about 15 to 20 minutes for people that are prepared to fill out the application. There's also a phone number available. Uh, several different folks on staff that uh, will help with uh, the Hmong or Hispanic population that want to be applying. So there's a lot of assistance out there. And I said to her, now, wait a minute, you guys at Department of Revenue are going to get real busy here with uh, that extended tax deadline. She said, Right now, call, vol or call volumes and the time that you're going to be kept waiting for a, a response from somebody is probably less than two minutes' time, so I think that's really good. But revenue.wi.gov is where you want to go to get your application process going. You're right. Any little bit will help. 270-9933 is the number to call if you have any farm-related questions for Pam or Packers or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, the, we're still waiting for some calls to come in. Um, more milk was dumped yesterday, though. Isn't that right? No, oh, actually, we are seeing uh, the milk uh, dumping situation uh, be eliminated in Wisconsin. Okay. We're just starting to get numbers, though, on just how much milk was being uh, dumped at any given time, not just Wisconsin, but across the United States. Dairy is always lagging a little bit behind as far as uh, data that we can pull. Uh, so we're following federal milk orders, and basically we've got tallies for April, and it looks like we saw three times the historic high of milk dumped in the month of April. Most of it was actually in the Northeast, uh, that land ca or Pennsylvania, New York State quadrant of the federal milk order. But we had plenty here in Wisconsin. We've got a story at MidwestFarmReport.com of one dairy alone, Golden Ead Dairy in West Bend, that jumped at least 750,000 gallons of milk uh, in the course of about 45 days, I think, that they had to dump. But their milk is now back all online. Uh, still not a pretty situation for dairy. I want everybody out there to remember, although you may be seeing dairy on your grocery store shelves and not being limited as far as purchases are concerned, our Wisconsin dairy industry is far from out of the woods yet with all the chaos caused by COVID. How are dairy prices right now? What are milk prices looking like, Pam? Well, right now we're peachy. I'm happy to do my market reports if all I want to do is look at June and maybe even front part of July. What makes my stomach queasy is when I have to take a look farther out in fourth quarter of uh, 2020. Uh, that's when we see milk prices starting to slip back under $17 a hundred weight, and that's not much better than we were before COVID uh, ensnared the marketplace. So we really need to see that restaurants and bars continue to start restocking and uh, that that supply keeps moving. It wouldn't hurt our feelings a bit if we got our export picture pulled together a little bit more, started moving product out of uh, the United States. Uh, but like I said, right now, at least for the next 30 to 45 days, things look pretty good for our dairy producers, but we are not out of the woods yet. All right, we have a call, but I don't know who's on the line. Yeah, the phones are, <laughs> the phones are jammed. Um, but no one's answering the phones. Let's, go, let's just see who's on line one. Okay. Hi, do you have a question for Pam? Yes, I do. Oh. Okay, Sharon. Hi, yes. Sharon, go ahead. I'm wondering where you can get that Wisconsin 
needs farmers fine Okay, so I get, I get this question a lot in a day. Uh, the bottom line is we are no longer accepting online reservations because we have 8,000 people we need to deliver to. What you're going to need to do is kind of follow our website, MidwestFarmReport.com, or Fabulous Farm Babe on Facebook. We're trying to make general appearances so anybody can come and pick up signs. Uh, we did three of them already, and we're going to do some more primarily with Blaine's Farm and Fleet locations, but we haven't gotten the store's approval just yet because when we show up, a lot of people show up and they're not always real comfortable with that so you're going to just have to give us time to work out some logistics there but we will try to give people just the general public whether you signed up or not a chance to get those signs just keep checking back with my website my facebook feed well it's a nice it's yeah. a good thing that everybody wants one that's a that's, that's a good yeah, that's sign. right yeah and we'll try to keep it going we'll try to keep it going it's yeah. just that right now we got to tap the brakes and deliver what we promised all right um we have time. We don't have time for another question. We're out of time, but thanks for everyone for calling in. Uh, the meat supply is okay. I noticed in the stores, that's all fine. Yeah, we're starting to get it back around. I got to keep an eye on what's going with pork because I'm still seeing some limitations there. But uh, I'll be talking with the uh, president and CEO of Equity Livestock tomorrow. I'll get a better handle on that, and I'll bring it to you during the noon show. How about that, buddy? We'll, we'll see you then. Stay all cool. Right. Thanks, thanks, Pam. Thanks, Pam. Great to see you. Thanks for your help today.